Well, today is actually, what day is it? Sunday. Sunday. Today is Sunday. It's the second day of Sit We're oh, heading over to the convention center now. Basically, Hazard's got a panel. One. 38 till 2 and then we've got a panel at 3 so we're gonna head over there and we've got a bunch of stuff to do We're also announcing the podcast today So I'm gonna insert some footage of when we've been like going to the podcast studio But we went for the first time I've got all that footage and stuff so I'll insert that as well We're announcing the podcast I'll talk more about it when we actually are able to sit and talk about it But right now we're heading over, like I just said, to watch Hazard's panel. Then we're gonna do some stuff, see you guys, and chill. I didn't really film much yesterday, I realised. It was so hectic and so busy. We literally yeah, because I went was out on the shop floor. Shop, shop floor? floor. We went <laughs> um, No, because I was explaining in my vlog that normally we have like someone with us who can film the meetup. Yeah. Whereas like we didn't. But also we like stood on the floor before our meet and greet. Like we did like an impromptu like hour and a half meet and greet, yeah. me, Anna and Hazard together. And then we went straight from that into mine and Hazard's two hour meet and greet, which also ran over. So we did like a five hour meet and greet and then we were all just shattered We were meant to go to the go Bear Grylls thing and go skydiving However, no one wanted to come and I was the only one that wanted to go and I was like, I'm not going skydiving And I was like, and then yeah, because of my outfit Byron and then people who went to skydiving I was like, could I have done it in this outfit? They went, no Exactly, so. but like you could, she could have changed Anyway, I'm still salty about that We're heading over to the NEC now We're gonna get some fun activities done It's freezing cold, I hate my outfit I forgot a belt This is my dilemma So I. I remember getting my belt off my jeans, but I must have just left it on my bed because I didn't pack it in my suitcase. So I've got loads of jeans that I wanted to wear with cool outfits and none of them fit me, so I needed a belt and I don't have a belt, so that's fun for me. Backstage now, literally the stage is there. We're on the main stage for two of our panels, so there's a bunch of us now gonna do a fashion panel, which I don't know really know why we're talking on it, but here we are. And then we're gonna go afterwards and do like QA, me, Anna, and Haas all together on the stage, which is gonna be really, really cool. I'm really excited, I cannot wait. We've also got the announcement. I'm really nervous to see how everyone's gonna react. I feel like we've teased it enough for people to know what it is, but who knows? We'll see, we'll see. I kind of want more. Hey. Oh, hi! <laughs> hi, I don't know what I do. My name's Byron, I try. That's basically oh. <laughs> I've literally not filmed anything all day. My eyes are like burning. Like I look like I'm gonna cry. Today is over. We're gonna go to the main stage and just watch some of the performances. That's the ice ring. That's the ice ring. <laughs> That's all right. Just walk on it. Anyway, we're um, gonna go to the side stage now and watch some of the performances. And then we're gonna drive back to Anna's house. When I say I'm so unbelievably tired, and I'm starving as well. But it's been literally incredible. We've literally just been stood. While everyone was getting packed up, me and a bunch of you guys, I think we've literally met like everyone that wanted to meet us, which is insane. And we also announced the podcast that were really, really fun. I'm so tired. I'll talk to you in a little while. Oh my God, why is my nose actually that red? So we've basically just been for food. It's end of city now. The last time I filmed, I were walking through the expo hall. We watched some stuff on the main stage, which was really, really cool. We sat with all our friends and I, which was really nice. And just like be with everyone that we either watch on YouTube and are friends of, you know, all the YouTube friendships. But then we walked across to, what's that place where we've just been? Uh, <laughs> the Resorts <laughs> World. Disgusting girl. We walked across the Resorts World and went to Chich... Do you need more room, We went to TGI Fridays. No, I'm all right. We went to TGI Fridays anyway. I had the best dessert. I had some ribs. It was great. We tried I to go to the ribs? casino. Oh, twins. We tried to go to the casino, but Anna's wearing tracks at bottom, so we can't actually get in. So we're just gonna go home. I've just defrosted all the car, which is why my nose is red. I was still at the front of the car, scraping all the ice off, so that's fun. Anna's also got a flat tire approaching, so we don't know if we're gonna yeah. make it home, um, but that's the situation. I don't know why my nose is this red. Like, it's literally freezing cold outside, actually, so I do know why it's this red. Wait, 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 wait. How's I'm losing that hair? Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Ew. nasty ass piece of shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. I don't know if this is going to be the second day of Vlogmas or if I'm going to have to include this in the footage from this weekend because I definitely didn't vlog much. However, today we were at Anna's, as you can see. We drove back from Sitsi last night. I don't know if to call it Sitsi or Witsi. What have you been saying? Witsi. No, Winter I called it Sitsi. I called it both, I think. Sitsi because it's social in the city. So yeah, basically, we stayed at Anna's last night. We got in super late because we drove back from Birmingham at a stupid time, which I don't know whose decision that was. Um, Not mine. I wanted to go to the casino. 
So it was Anna's decision. No, because anyway, we would have... Oh, no, maybe it wasn't. We would have been back later if we went to the casino. Imagine <laughs> if we did actually go to the casino, we'd get to, back so late. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so today we're basically going Christmas shopping. We woke up super, super early. I'm still really, really tired. We all had a shower this morning, and I've washed my hair, and all the colours, like the silver dyes, come out of my hair. So now it's just yellow, which is why I'm wearing a beanie. It's kind of fitting because it's like December time. We woke up this morning, looked out the window, it were all nice and frosty. Si, so, we're going to go to Bista Village, do some shopping. I don't really know what we're going for. I really want to look in Prada. I'm hoping to get people Christmas presents. It's literally freezing. Like, we've literally just arrived. The car parking situation were awful because every single person ever is at Vista Village today. So hopefully there's still some good things left. Otherwise, um, we fucked up because we've had to park in test, guys. It's so damn expensive. It's literally £2,400. Down from like five grand, but it's so nice. Right, we're back in the car now. We've been shopping for probably like three hours. I have got a couple of purchase times, so I'll do a little haul when I get back. However, we've literally just got in the car. I didn't film much at all in Bista because it was so, so busy. We're now in the queue for the drive through for McDonald's. So we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some food. We're gonna eat some food and then we're gonna film a little Q&A for the podcast Instagram. The sunset's really nice tonight. It's really like a Christmassy, Christmassy Christmas vibe. Set. Yeah, the sun's setting really nice over there. Oh, boy. <laughs> get to the Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to ring my mum. Oh my god. I'm not going to. The tire has popped. I'm not going to. No, it hasn't popped. Babe, did you not feel that? Yeah, I don't think it's popped. <laughs> Fucking move your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, it's not. What? I'm what so confused. What is Someone that? help me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, bless her. That felt like, you know, it literally felt like you were going over something. Did you not think? What if there's a kid under? <laughs> Right guys, I don't really know what the situation is. So we got out of the car to see if Anna's tire were flat and it's not actually flat. Okay. Just pull it out. Yeah, you pull that all the way out yeah. and walk around with it. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> what is it? It says 5 PSI. Is that it? It says it's five. 32. Oh, no, it says 6. Are you doing as a fucking mechanic? Right. And people say YouTubers aren't talented. Here we are. Here I am. I was going to say changing a tire. I'm definitely not. In the car, and now I'm on my way home finally. But it's so much later than I thought it were gonna be. I cannot be bothered. I might have to Uber back home. Fine. I'm back in London. Hi everyone, it's now the next day. I really didn't end the vlog yesterday. I don't feel like I vlogged much the entire weekend, so I apologise for my last vlog. Been really, really just not that full of content. However, I want to try and do Vlogmas, so if that means splitting vlogs up into smaller vlogs, then I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Let me know if you want me to like try and upload every day or as many times as possible, or you'd rather me just save all the footage and make one long vlog. Please let me know down below. However, I'm back in London now. As you know, I went to Vista Village literally in the last clips. I was on the train back home yesterday. It was just a mess. It was so much fun to go shopping with Anna and Haas. However, Bista Village was literally so, so busy. We arrived and the car park was so full, so we ended up parking in Tesco's, which was no bigger. But obviously when we got there into the shops, not only were the queues extortionately long to get inside the shops, once you were inside the shops, you had to queue, literally me and Anna queued in Prada for probably an hour to pay for our items. It was crazy. Not complaining though, understand it's the Christmas season, it's busy, everyone's trying to get the Christmas shopping done and there were some pretty good bargains. So I'm gonna show you what I got from the Prada store, like I mentioned, bought some from Prada yet again. And I also got a jacket from All Saints, so I'm gonna show you how to talk about my deals and stuff. I got this little makeup bag, it's like a cosmetics pouch, it's literally the exact same as my nylon bag, it's a nylon bag. I bought Megan one of these for her birthday actually. Basically the first time I went to Bista Village they had these bags, but they had the smaller version and when I mean the smaller version I mean they were like this big like tiny tiny little pouches and I needed a new bag to put all my makeup bits in and my skincare bits in my hair gels and stuff for when I'm traveling because whenever I travel home I don't know where my other one's gone I think I've packed it into my wardrobe somewhere but I had a bag literally like this size for all my stuff so that had all my like eyebrow gels in it and stuff my bronzer my moisturizer my hair stuff everything and it couldn't even fit a bottle in so I'd end up putting like my toothbrush and stuff inside my shoes in plastic bags which obviously not great for the environment but it's just also not that convenient. So I knew I needed to get a bigger bag and I knew I wanted the black one. However, the past two times I've been to Bista, they didn't actually have it. So when I saw it there, 
there, I would let you know what, I'm gonna grab it. So I know the retail price for the one smaller than this is like 250 pounds. So I imagine this to be around 300, 320. I'm not exactly too sure. I should probably Google it. However, I paid 105 pounds for this. So I saved myself like 200 pounds. A few vlogs ago, I showed a leather jacket that I actually bought from ASOS. And I said in the, in the vlog that the style of jacket was not exactly what I'd been looking for, but it was so similar and I couldn't find anything exactly like I'd been looking for. I wanted a vintage looking bomber jacket, leather jacket sort of thing. And I couldn't find one anywhere for a reasonable price. Balenciaga do this one. However, it's literally like £3,000 and I like, I want something that style but obviously that doesn't say Balenciaga across the front. I went into All Saints in Bista Village not only was it an outlet store so everything was cheaper than retail price anyway but they also had 40% discount on literally everything in the store because it was Cyber Monday. So, I picked this leather jacket up. It should have been £385 but I literally paid £110 for this or £111 I think. It is literally so so cool. It reminds me of the shirt that I got from weekday but the shirt that I got from weekday is like just a shirt and it's not like thick enough to be a jacket or a coat. However, I think with like a hoodie and stuff underneath this, it'll look really, really cool. Anyway, yeah, that is literally all I got from Bista Village. It was so much fun staying at Anna's house. I just got back from uni. I'm doing a bunch of work on my laptop. So, all fun and games. I don't know when the next vlog's gonna be. I'm gonna try and vlog today. Saf's actually staying around ours tonight, but she's not gonna get here until like 11 o'clock. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up vlogging anything, just because we'll probably just end up talking for hours and hours and hours, and then it's gonna be like three in the morning, and we'll be like, oh my god, shit, we've gotta go to bed, because I'm at uni again tomorrow. So, that's the situation. I'm gonna end this little vlog here. I hope you did enjoy. Again, I apologize for not really vlogging too much. Oh, before I do go, within less than 24 hours, I'm gonna check what the podcast Instagram page is on. We've promoted it a couple times on our stories and you guys have literally showed the most love. It's on 12.9 thousand followers. There's three photos on there. The first episode's not even out yet. We've released the trailer and that's it. Like, this is crazy to me. Me, Anna and Haswell sat there like, guys, this is just crazy. After the weekend we've just had and being able to like meet all you guys and experience what we experienced this weekend, but as a three and as a three of best friends, like it's literally the most incredible thing in the entire world. I remember going to sit see and events where on my own before I met Haz and like meeting you guys and like having the best time ever, but then being able to do that on a bigger scale, but also with two of your best friends in the entire world. And being able to share that feeling and excitement with someone else is literally just crazy. So I wanted to say thank you. The vlogs were bad, but I were living in the moment and I've been really trying to appreciate everything that's going on right now because I do realize that what is happening in front of me is everything I've always dreamed of. It didn't really click, like some of the stuff that I'm working on. I don't know, I think for the past few months, I was in a really bad space mentally. Like you will have even seen on my YouTube channel before I transitioned into doing more fashion content. I was just really in my head about everything and I was really in a bad headspace and I feel like every YouTuber's had this burnout point this year. However, I stopped, I started taking things for granted and not really appreciating what I'd got and I'd go into meetings about super exciting things which if you'd have told me I would have been doing two years ago or even last year, I would have cried with happiness and been so overwhelmed and I'd literally come out of the meetings just feeling numb even though I've just done the most and been told the most exciting news ever. i just come out of the meeting like, yeah, that were good. And it's like, Byron, what the fuck? Like, wake up. Like, that is crazy. Like, these past few months, ever since since I changed my content actually I've been feeling so much more present with everything that I'm doing which is amazing and I want to thank you guys as well for that for sticking around and stuff. I realise it's not even about the content that I make but like going to events like what I went to at the weekend the amount of people that come up and like I watch your videos and I'm feeling sad or like thank you so much for like just being yourself and doing all this and like being able to connect with people that are going through their own shit. Sorry I feel like I'm gonna cry. Being able to connect with people of all walks of life from different backgrounds have I had literally completely different upbringings to myself or like are from completely different cultural places. Everyone's on a journey in life and we're all at different points of that journey and I sound like I've just done like crystal meth or like took some pills or some shit and I'm like on a high. That is what is the most rewarding thing about everything I do. Being able to connect with so many different people of such a vast range of personalities and just everything but being able to connect on a level due to what we do online is the craziest most surreal feeling in the entire world and this weekend just really highlighted that so i just want to say thank you i'm now gonna get back on with doing some work i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can i love you all lots and i will chat to you hopefully soon with a brand new vlog i'm really busy with uni work and stuff but i'm gonna try anyway i love you all lots and i'll see you very soon bye